If you've clicked on this video, you've probably heard of BASE, which is the new layer two blockchain on the Ethereum network that was released by Coinbase just a couple of weeks ago. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can bridge ETH or other tokens to BASE so that you can start using apps that are built upon BASE and trade on the BASE network. And if you're wondering why somebody might want to do this, well, the main benefit to using BASE instead of the Ethereum mainnet is that the cost for transactions will be significantly cheaper. So instead of paying a few dollars per transaction that you might pay in gas fees on the Ethereum mainnet, when it comes to BASE, but also other layer twos, your transactions are probably gonna cost pennies. Now, if you want to use the BASE blockchain, you don't need to create a new wallet. All you need to do is bridge funds from the Ethereum mainnet to BASE or from another layer two to BASE, and then you're all set to go using the exact same wallet address that you're already using. When it comes to bridging, all that's happening is you're transferring ETH or another token from one network to another. So you can transfer from Ethereum to BASE or from other layer twos like Optimism, Arbitrum to BASE, and then you can also transfer it from BASE back to any of the previously mentioned networks. There are many different bridges that you can use, and I'm gonna show you a few examples. BASE actually has their own bridge where you can transfer from the Ethereum mainnet to BASE, but you can also use other third-party bridges like, for example, HOP, where you can transfer to BASE from a variety of other networks, including the ETH mainnet and other layer twos. You can also use Orbiter, which is a similar story. You can transfer from different networks to BASE and back and forth. Now, there's pros and cons to using these different bridges. For example, Hop, which is one of the most widely used bridges in the entire ecosystem, has already released a token. So by using this bridge, you probably won't be getting any potential upside if you're hoping to get airdrops. However, Orbiter has not released a token yet, and there has been speculation that Orbiter will actually have an airdrop at some point in the future. So by using this bridge instead of Hop, you're essentially gonna do the same thing for approximately the same cost with that potential upside of qualifying for a future airdrop, which could be lucrative. Another easy way that you can bridge, especially if you're using the Benamask wallet, is to use their built-in bridge feature. However, you cannot currently send to base. They haven't actually incorporated that functionality yet. So Metamask is unfortunately out of the running when we're talking about transferring funds to base. Now, if you want to use the official base bridge, you're gonna have to deposit funds from the Ethereum mainnet because they currently haven't added the ability to change the from or the sending network. And the problem with doing that is if, for example, I try to deposit 0.1 ETH, you can see that the gas fees for doing this are quite high because transactions on ETH mainnet are quite high. So instead of using the official base bridge, I'm going to use Orbiter because, like I said, I might qualify for a future airdrop and also because I can transfer from different L2s where the transaction fees are going to be significantly lower. So I'm going to send 0.02 ETH from Polygon to base and you'll see that I'll be saving a significant amount of money in gas fees by sending from a different L2 to base as opposed to from sending directly from the ETH mainnet. So if I hit send, it's gonna pop up here. Oh, I have to switch the network on my MetaMask account to confirm this transaction. And I'm going to hit confirm and send. And then I have to confirm in my MetaMask wallet here. And you can see that the gas fee is 0.003 Matic, which works out to literally less than one penny. And I'll be able to then receive 0.2 ETH in my base account. So let me confirm this transaction here and that is going through. And it's literally as simple as that. You could have used the hop bridge or you could use the official base bridge, but what I'm trying to do here is minimize the amount that I'm spending in transaction fees to get the money onto the base network. Now it's probably gonna take a couple of minutes to confirm, but once it does confirm, you're gonna be able to go into your MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using, and then make sure that you transfer to the correct network, base mainnet, and here you can see actually my 0.2 ETH has already arrived, so it's actually taken less than 60 seconds. So now I'm good to go, I have ETH on the base network, and then I can go and interact with different applications. For example, the new friend.tech application, which is super popular. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful and informative, and I'll see you in the next one.